Hello, I'm John Mark. I'm the designer of the Fisher RevRap 3D printer and I'm just going to tell you a little bit about what it can do and what you might like to print once you have it. So once you've built your machine and got it commissioned and printed out uh, the sample parts, the next thing to do is to find content for what you're going, the models you're going to create. So there are a number of ways to get content for your machine. The first is that there are millions of designs published on the internet of people who like to 3D model and share their designs. These are available to design for free or sometimes for a fee and can offer quite a large library of content that might be suitable. Another option of course is to design your own parts and this is really where 3D printing comes into its own as part of a development process of creating new things. The machine can print very complex structures. In fact, complexity is free with 3D printing process because you only pay for the material you deposit. So you can create internal features and structures which you couldn't do in any other way. If you'd like to create your own content for printing on the Fisher RepRap 3D printer, there are quite a range of 3D modeling software packages available, which range from free and available online to quite high-end paid-for packages. Creating 3D models for your machine is a fairly straightforward process, especially given the fact that there are so many free and available online resources for learning to create 3D models, uh, modify 3D models and find other 3D models online. For example, there's software available called Tinkercad, which is an online free 3D modelling platform, which also encourages collaboration between users. So Tinkercad, for example, offers a library of parts that people can freely publish for others to use, which then you can load into your project and modify and use as you wish. Of course, the great thing about uh, being able to create your own parts is that uh, you can develop things, uh, objects, just the way you want them uh, and have your own creation. So it's actually quite uh, uh, nice to have uh, a process where you can have an idea one minute and a few hours later have the real thing in your hand and have the only one in existence, which is actually your own creation.